Hey, shalom, 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 shalom to the hopeful elect of Israel. I want to start off and give all honors and infinite praises to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rekakwadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone who have taught us this truth and who rule well. Peace and safety and salutations out there to you sincere and you hopeful elect. Scattered abroad across the four winds of this earth. All right, I'm your fellow servant, Malakia. All right, coming in with another lesson. <clears throat> All right, just going to a short lesson, basically going off this uh, this video um, that I uh, just seen on one of uh, YouTube shorts. And, uh, you know, it kind of, you know, it, it, it resembles, all right, to uh, to us, all right, within this truth. All right, and, you know, we're going to go into the video, but uh, it's a video, uh, I guess a little short from... Uh, he used to be a comedian. I think he still is a comedian, but his name is uh, Corey Holcomb. All right. And he breaks it down. All right. That's what the video titles. And he goes into, you know, women. All right. Listening to their men. OK. And as you see, you know, as we have been a spouse. All right. To Yahweh Shai. OK. We are Yahweh Shai's woman. OK. So the instructions. All right. And the things that he has uh, told us. Okay, for us to do, okay, we listen and we follow <clears throat> so that what? We may be uh, uh, protected, all right, and delivered, okay? And as you see in the world, you have a lot of women, they're not, um, how can I say it? They're not uh, uh, keen to listening to their men, okay? This is why you see them, they want to be the boss, they want to be the boss chick, all right. They want to be the one ahead of the man. OK, but in the times that we're getting ready to enter into. OK, if you don't have a man. All right. For protection. OK, you're going to be through and really going to a man of the Lord. All right. You will be through. All right. And it's the same thing that goes to. OK, um, uh, you Israelites. All right. You so-called blacks, Latinos, Native American Indians. OK, if you do not return. All right, back unto Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. Okay, and to receive these instructions, all right, of what he has uh, uh, left unto us. Okay, you will feel the wrath of the things to come. Okay, your money's not going to save you. Your job is not going to save you. Nothing's not going to save you but Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. Okay, so let's go into this uh, short a video right quick and also um you know when i was going into the instructions too as well you know it's a saying in the world what what they say what the bible uh stands for like an acronym okay uh the b-i-b-l-e okay uh basic instructions before leaving earth okay so this is the instruction that the lord has left unto us okay he's given us commandments Okay, he's given us precepts, he's given us the proverbs, all right, how to attain knowledge, how to attain wisdom, all right, and understanding. Okay, and this is the, the things that we need in order for us to be able to survive and to maneuver around in this earth, all right. And if you don't, like the scripture says, those that leave it, they shall die. Okay, so let's go ahead and get into this video right quick. Awesome, so lucky. You are in the streets mm -hmm. with a woman that you don't have authority over. And this ain't about being the boss of acting like I'm this, that, and the other. When it's real, when you in the streets with your woman, y'all in danger. If you don't know that, I'm telling you not. Right. The streets are crazy. These people out here mixing the Zannies and the Perks together. Mm -hmm. It's wild out here. So y'all need to be ready for what can come and what probably will come. And one of the ways of being ready is you gotta listen to your man because he's the one who's got to protect you. Mm -hmm. If you're with a man that you feel like you can't be safe with when you're in the streets, you probably don't need to be with him. Right. So if he tells you, look, babe, let's go to the car. I don't want to hear that. No, she better shut up talking to me and all like that. You know right. what I'm saying? Okay, I got you. You got to be like, yo, I said, let's go. And if right. there's any problems after that, you're supposed to leave him. <laughs> leave him. You That's right. Let's go back again. Mm -hmm. If you are in the streets mm -hmm. with a woman that you don't have authority over. And this ain't about being the boss of acting like I'm this, that, and the other. When it's real, when you're in the streets with your woman, y'all in danger. If you don't know that, I'm telling you not. Right. The streets are crazy. These people out here mixing the Zannies and the Perks together. Mm -hmm. It's wild out here. So y'all need to be ready 
for what can come and what probably will come. And one of the ways of being ready is you got to listen to your man because he's the one who's got to protect you. Mm -hmm. If you're with a man that you feel like you can't be safe with when you're in the streets, you probably don't need to be with him. Right. So if he tells you, look, babe, let's go to the car. I don't want to hear that. No, she better shut up talking to me and all like that. You know right. what I'm saying? Right, okay, I got you. You got to be like, yo, I said, let's go. And if right. there's any problems after that, you're supposed to leave him. Right. <laughs> <laughs> right. And that's all right, man. <clears throat> okay, because when you out here about you know, going to the uh, stores, right, when you're going to, you know, talking to, you know, to the Israelites, anything can come. When you go on your way to work while you're driving, <coughs> this society can collapse at any moment. Okay? You never know. Power grid can shut down. All right. They've been talking about these um uh uh blackouts. All right, who knows? The power can go out for a couple of days. All right. And that's when we're gonna start seeing the prophetic scriptures uh come into play. You read into the book of Second Ezra 15, 16, okay. Uh uh, what's that? Um Isaiah 19, when it goes into Egyptian shall uh, fight against Egyptian, okay, with swords in their hands, okay, going through uh, different uh, uh, people's houses, all right, because of a uh, great tribulation, famine, all right, a lot of these things is getting ready to happen, okay, and if you don't have a man of the Lord, <clears throat> okay, by your side, if you're not praying to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh and you're not listening to the instructions that he's given you to give you the warning of the thing of the things that's getting ready to come, you're gonna be left out there for dead. All right, he even said, if there is any problems that come of that when you say something or you gave someone some instructions and they don't listen and they don't want to follow, you leave them. Okay, and that's what's getting ready to happen in these last days. Many people are about to be left. All right, so let's jump into the book of Proverbs 1. I'm going to start in verse 1. It says, The Proverbs of Solomon, the son of David, king of Israel. To know wisdom and instruction, to perceive the words of understanding, to receive the instruction of wisdom. Okay, this is what? The book of Proverbs to give what? A man wisdom. Okay, how to maneuver, how to move within this, uh, in, in, in this earth. Um, what's that in, um, I believe it's, uh, Ephesians five, uh, how we need to walk circumspectly. All right. Because the days are evil. Okay. And the Lord has given us what Proverbs he's given us with well, the book of Proverbs. Okay. And he's given us wisdom and instruction. All right. How to maneuver. All right. Within this earth. That's why the scripture says walk with wisdom. All right. Towards those that are without. It says to perceive the words of understanding, to receive the instruction of wisdom. See, it's all going into instruction. Let me let's get that word right quick. Instruction. I ain't never look it up. Instruction. Instructions or instruction. So instruction, which is a uh, noun, it says uh the action or process of teaching. All right. <laughs> hey, and the Lord has his men of the Lord. All right, the men of the Lord out on the highways and hedges. All right, also on these, uh, uh, on the YouTube videos, okay, to give the instructions, us giving uh, lessons, teachings, all right, unto the hopeful elect, so that they may hear and attain unto the wise counsels of the Lord. All right, it says, an array, an arrangement, teaching. You see, instructions goes into teaching. It says to arrange, to prepare, to set in order, to inform, and to teach, to build, and to spread. All right? That's what we're doing with this word. We're teaching. We're informing. We're setting things in order. We're preparing you with the instructions, okay, and how, on how to maneuver, all right, and, and, and to know the things that's getting ready to come. Okay, in these last days. So you gotta listen to your man. All right, you need to listen to what? Yahweh Shai. Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai. Okay? Because he's left the instructions unto us that we may believe on his word. Okay. Um let me see if I can get one more precept. This is uh first John five. Hmm. I 
think it's in First John 5. Uh, it's not, but let me go ahead and hear this. Let me go ahead and put this right here. First John 5 and verse 10, it says, He that believeth on the Son of the Most High hath the witness in himself. He that believeth not the Most High hath made him a liar because he believeth not the record that the Most High gave of his Son. You see, a lot of people out here don't believe on Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. They don't believe in this book. All right. Remember, I was going into the acronym, basic instructions before leaving earth. They don't believe on the record that the Lord has given unto us the instructions of what of what we need. OK, to to survive. All right. And to his second coming. This is how we're going to be protected. All right. In these last days by adhering unto the instructions that he's given unto us. It says, and this is the record that the most high have given to us eternal life. And this life is in his son. You see, this gospel, the good news, all right? It's all about Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai, all right? The record, the Lord has given us the record to believe on his son. It says, he that hath the son hath life. See, if you believe on Yahweh Shai, okay, and you believe on his words, the instructions, all right? You have life if you believe on them unto the end. And he that hath not the son of the most high have not life. That's those who not who do not believe on Yahweh Shai. That's the ones who don't believe in the words of this book. That's the ones who did not adhere unto the instructions. These are going to be the ones who do not have life. These things have I written unto you that believe on the name of the son of the most high that ye may know that ye have eternal life and that ye may believe on the name of the son of the most high. And this is the confidence that we have in him, that if we ask anything according to his will, he heareth us. And if we know that he hear us whatsoever we ask, we know that we have the petitions that we desired of him. Okay. And it's only going to be those who sought out the instructions that's going to believe on the name. That's going to call upon the name in the time of distress. OK, and when they call on a time of distress, OK, they're going to know that the petitions that they sent unto Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai, they're going to be heard. That's going to be the confidence that they have because they listen unto the instructions. That's the faith. That's going to be the faithful women. All right. That was faithful unto him. OK, but a lot of these unfaithful women that's out here in the world, they're going to be through. And many men are following after women. They're all going to get themselves killed in these last days. But going back in Proverbs 1 and 3, it says to receive the instruction of wisdom, justice, and judgment, and equity. To give subtility to the simple, to the young man knowledge and discretion. You see, the Lord has given us these things to equip us, okay, in our daily walk. And in the end times, all right, in these last days, in the times of Jacob's trouble, it says a wise man will hear and will increase learning. And a man of understanding shall attain unto wise counsels. To understand the proverb and the interpretation, the words of the wise and their dark sayings, the fear of the Lord, Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, is the beginning of knowledge. You see, many people don't believe in the knowledge. I mean, they don't believe in the fear of the Lord. It's a lot here. All right. They don't have the fear of the Lord. All right. So therefore, they don't have knowledge. It says, but fools despise wisdom and instruction. All right. Going out to the women, going out to those who don't want to believe on the instructions that the Lord has given unto his men to give unto y'all. Okay. The fools. Okay. Despise the wisdom and instruction. And this is why they will die in these last days because they did not listen and adhere unto the words of Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai. Okay. So if you got this truth and you believe on Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, and you believe on the instructions, Okay, and you believe and endure until the end, the Lord is going to deliver you and he's going to protect you. All right. In these serious and dire times. 
Okay, so this is why you got to listen to your man going out to the ladies and going out to the men. Okay, so hey, Lord willing, this lesson was edifying to you, Akim and Akwatim. I want to give all honors and infinite praises to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Rekakwadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone who have taught us this truth and who rule well. Peace and safety and salutations out there to you, sincere and you hopefully elect. Scattered abroad across the four winds of this earth. I'm your fellow servant, Malakia. Shalom.